What's up guys, um, we're back for episode, I think, number 8. I already got myself a car for the next mission, so I can get straight to that. And um, I think that's pretty much it. We've got no more of the uh, last missions left over apart from the uh, police missions. And now we've got some new missions from Caesar, uh, my sister's boyfriend. And um, yeah, I think they're all to do with like illegal street racing and low riders and all that kind of stuff. So I'm sure, they're going to be some pretty interesting uh, missions, especially looking at my driving. <laughs> I think we're going to have a lot of fun, but let's see, let's see. Okay, so it should be around there somewhere where I have to go to, it's right there. Oh my god. <laughs> you got a problem, bro? Alright, let's turn this car around quickly, hope that all the trouble gets away. Homeboy shooting everything in sight. Hey, CJ, you made it. What's the business? Hey, Carl. Hey, baby. Nice ride, man. That's no carucha. You sure you want to risk that, baby? Yeah, I'm sure. How much they talking about? It's only stolen anyway. Then you pull up and race. The first pass the post wins. Conchota si chota. Okay, for sure. I'm down. Hey, watch us, CJ. These boys don't like to lose, eh? Yeah, with well, me either. Follow me to the race, dude. All right, let's do this then, man. It's all good now. Get us out of here. Yeah, I picked this car on purpose because this is uh, probably one of the best cars that you can do these kind of racing missions in because it has to be like of the type low rider. And they're fairly fast, they've got good handling, unlike the one that Caesar's got in front of me. I hate those cars, they're like, they swim on the road, you can't turn properly or anything. Come on, follow us! Yeah, I'm following, chill the hell out, man. I'm right behind you. You're almost there, Carl! Alright. Yeah, that's funny, man. My homeboy's already shooting all the enemies that we're racing with. But let's go, let's go! Get the hell out of the way. God damn it. <laughs> And already the first people are turning around and crashing. Puts us into second position, I think. Nice and easy. Whoa, god damn it. Alright, let's get back on track. We're still first, I think. Uh, the others are all close behind us. But we should be all good. Take a nice and sharp break right here. Yeah, it's a lot easier than I remember it. I thought I might be struggling. But, whoa, oh, crap. <laughs> yeah, it shouldn't always look good on me, should I? Alright, so we've got to turn down here. Whoa, crap. Screwed that up. And the others are coming, so I should hurry up a little. I think it's up here. Yeah, that's the way. Take a left turn down here, take a right turn right here. I think it like ends at the pier. So yeah, I think the finishing line is right at the end of this road. We can just speed through here basically. Well, that was a nice and easy ground. Look at them suckers all come. <laughs> that was easy, I guess. So what have we got to do now? Wait? Or can I just go straight to the next mission or what? Am I getting a phone call or something? Oh, I don't know. I'm going to grab a hot dog or something like that. Watch the sunset. Can I go fishing? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Oh well, I'll have a chili dog. Back up stone's way, cool. Them serious niggas squares kicks, boy. Hey, they've still got my paint with me. Yeah, yeah, huh. Hey, another tax break. I'm looking here shooting.
Okay, so I don't know what's going on. It looks like there's nothing more to do here. I don't have to wait for anything. So let's get the hell back out of here. Uh, so it looks like I have to do one of the police missions now. That's all I'm left with. So I might as well go ahead and do that. And my drone skills come back up. Well, well, back up. Gone up a little bit more. Oh, hey. Um. Let's see, let's see. Hmm. Should be like here somewhere. Oh, yeah, of course, the door in the place. How else? What else would I expect from lazy cops? <laughs> I got special parking right here. Alright, let's see what the school wants. Hey, Carl Johnson, CJ. Oh, Come on over here, son. Move over, let him sit down, asshole. <clears throat> so you finally found time to drop back. Man, I've been busy. I've been burying my moms, man. Sounds like a fucking excuse to me. Officer Pulaski thinks you're trying to screw with us, Carl. Now you get this straight. We own you. You're ours. We can shit on you from such a height, you'll think God himself has crapped on you. You understand? He better fucking understand. Yeah, he better have. Time to go to work, CJ, and earn your freedom. There's a guy holed up across town. You got that address, Pulaski? Another gang banging, drug pushing, cop killing bits just like you. We don't like him, and he don't like us. Now you make sure he never leaves the neighborhood. Not even in a box. Get the fuck out of here. Nice core, core. Alright, so, let's see man, what, you're not in this anymore, you gone, okay, I can't recruit him either, screw this, gotta do this on my own then, no one to help me, that's okay, I don't mind, can't be that hard right, check it out Charles, Julio G, going out across the state with the best in hip hop and rap, Ammunition where I can get all my guns and shit from. Alright, um. Let's see, let's see. Let's pick up some Molotov cocktails from somewhere. Around, I don't know, it should be close by. Like over here somewhere or something. Yeah, that's it. Right there. Le Molotov cocktail. Ah, oh, what? Does that mean I have to get rid of all my grenades? God damn it. Okay, well, I need them for the mission, so nothing I can do about that. Let's get to the checkpoint. I have to go, should be over here somewhere. Just across the tracks and to the left and then to the right. Almost there. There it is. Park up on the other side then. Crouch down. I might as well do a surprise attack on these motherfuckers. That worked. <laughs> nice. These guys dead. Sweet, alright, that made my job a whole lot easier. Oh shit, that car's gonna explode, isn't it? Let's get the hell away from it. And then, uh. I didn't even hit that window, seriously. There we go, that worked. Oh shit, oh, I'm such an idiot. Uh, that one's burning. 
Alright, so be oh. God damn essays. Essays everywhere. My health ain't looking too good. Uh any more? I'm pretty sure there should be some more somewhere. No more? Alright. Oh, that was close. Should stand further away. There we go. And one more. Yay. Now what? Where the hell did this guy come from? Not anymore. Somebody help me! Help! Hold tight. Come. God damn it! Now I gotta rescue girls. Seriously. All right. Uh, let's see. Where to go? Well, somewhere where there's no fire. That's for sure. Don't want to get burnt. I'm not looking too good on health at the moment as it is. So we're going straight upstairs. Okay. Um, which way? Over here? Nope. Must be over here somewhere. Mm, where is she then? Oh. You there? You okay? Yeah, but those flames! They're too hot! I'm scared! Hold on, it's probably a fire extinguisher in the kitchen. I'll be right back. Oh, come on. You couldn't have told me that earlier. Alright, uh, back down to the kitchen we go then. It must be on the ground floor, I'm guessing. I have no idea. Uh, that looks like a kitchen. I did. We've got the fire extinguisher, and now we should be able to put out that fire. Stand back! Put it out! Put it out! Yeah, yeah, chill out. I oh got God, you. I'm so scared. Oh my God! What was that? Hey, the building's starting to collapse. We got to get out of here fast. All right, let's go. Holy crap, man, the whole building is coming down. I can feel it shaking and rumbling. I can feel the floor giving way! Yeah, yeah, stop screaming. Nothing we can do about it now, right? Um, wow, everything's burning now. Where do we have to go now? Through here, maybe? Yay, we found that. Oh, come on. <laughs> I left her inside or something now? Really? Oh, come on then. Uh, now she's blocking the way. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You following me? Yeah, she is slowly. She there? Yeah, she's here. I've done it. That wasn't too hard, was it? Hey, man, I owe you my life. I was nearly dead there for sure. Hey, you look pretty shook up, girl. You want me to take you home? Yeah, please, thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think she likes me. Where you live? Just off Grove Street. No shit. What you doing in Fargo City? I like to live dangerously. You're CJ, right? Yeah, how you know me? Everybody in the Grove knows you and your brother. I thought you'd run away. I never ran away, okay? I just needed to get away from shit. Everyone giving me a hard time about running away from home. And this that's it, man. Hey, what's your name? Denise. Denise Robinson. Give me a call sometime. We should go out or something. Yeah, I'd like that. Okay, I'll catch you later, CJ. Looks like we got ourselves a girlfriend now. So it's gonna be a big red heart on the map indicating where she lives. Alright, so let's put this car in with our nice low rider over there. So I can actually pimp this car up as well, and they look a lot nicer than the low riders. 
Um, phone rings. Let's see who this is. What they gotta say. Uh, okay. Well, let's go ahead and save first. Saved, and let's continue on. Uh, let's see if I can get another phone call because I've only got police missions left to do, and I don't really, really feel like doing them to be honest. I heard you don't care about your set, homie. Prove me wrong. Yo, come on, D Bro. Show me you Man. real, homeboy. Okay, here we go. What's up, sweet? We got a problem. Some book ass base ass fool has been slanging to his grown brothers. What? Who? Check this out. He's been buying shit over in Glen Park. He know the hood is talking, and he's hiding out with his new ball of friends. Shit, man. How we gonna get to him? It's time for you to announce your return, CJ. You fuck up Glen Park, and that turncoat bitch ass nigga's gonna lose nerve and make a break for it. Okay, I'm gonna come pick you up. Hell no. This is your gig, CJ. You need some strikes. Get over to Army Nation and get a heater. All right. I think this is where shit starts to get heavy, and the whole gang territory thing starts coming into affection. So we are going to need, come on guy, get in. Gonna need to get some bulletproof vests and all kinds of other shit. This is where shit starts getting heavy. And these are not so easy either, like you can die quite easily. So let's quickly go to my secret spot. Get heated, probably have a quick peek by ammunition. Actually, thinking about it. In a spot, holy crap man. What if that gun shooting ringing in my ear? I was almost sure there's like a spot back here somewhere maybe where there was like a bulletproof vest or something. But I don't have a clue. I haven't played this in so long. I forgot where all of the hidden spots are for like stuff near you and whatnot, good weapons, blah blah blah. Ah, uh, it doesn't look like there's anything there. Okay, screw it. Um, let's go into town then. Grab that bulletproof vest, some more AKs, and I don't know what else we're gonna need. I think that should do us. AK, grab some extra ammunition from uh, the shop, and then we should be good to go. Okay, so first things first, let's go to the film studio and pick up those weapons. Which should be around here somewhere, it's right there, isn't it? Yeah, that's it right there. Nice, okay. I've no idea why they would be keeping an AK in a film studio, but anyway, doesn't have to make sense. Works for me. Beautiful. Uh, it's a bit time consuming, but oh well. And then might as well pick up some more shotgun shells. Done, back into the car. Get in, get in, get in. Get in, get What the hell? What the hell happened there? What the hell did they all just jump out? <laughs> that was funny. So now they're glitching around. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it's glitching out a little bit. Come on, get in, get in. I'm gonna need these guys to do this mission as well. I'm pretty sure of it anyway. Um, okay, we've got that, so now we're gonna need to look by ammunition and also pass by to get some more bulletproof armor. Okay, there's ammunition. I don't think we can get all the weapons in there yet, but they should have a good selection of things, so let's just take a peek in there and see. Oh, this is actually a mission. 
Yeah, yeah, okay. This Glen Park, which is about Ballers territory, I know that. Yeah, skip it, come on. I can't skip it by the looks of things. Okay, we'll claim Glen Park, no problem. Alright, go to Glen Park, take it over. If you need a gun, go into ammunition. I need more than a gun. You hard yet? Let's see what we've got. Got some nine millimeters and a silence. Micro SMGs. Uh, what else we got? Shotguns. Son of. Already got that. Throwing grenades. I'm getting myself some of those. How much is the armor actually? Uh, it's like two hundred. It's, cool. it's not that expensive. I can afford that. Sure, sure. I didn't get anything from here. I don't even know who you are. You never spoke. All that rubbish. All right. Uh, it's probably worth getting some SMG and my pool is expensive, I can't afford that. Well, I can, but uh, I think I should be good with the weapons I've got. Alright, um, back into the car we go and let's head over to Glen Park. Oh, that's a nice car, unfortunately it's only a two door, so I can't take my homies with me. Alright, so there's a little green man on the mini map there. That's where we have to head now. And then we should be able to take out Glen Park. Well, take out, take over. Ooh, these cars are nice, I love them. Almost tempted to stop and steal that, but not right now. Oh, yeah, so we can see now if we go onto the map here that. Uh, the territories are all going to start, the whole area here is going to be transformed into these purple, green and uh, yellow blips all the way down to here and everything. It basically indicates gang territories and which gang or crew it belongs to. So, um, yeah. We are going to try and take over the whole hood basically. And right now all I need to do is just kill a few of these guys. Probably worth saving a bit of that ammo. Alright, so you just kill a few of these guys that are walking around and provoke a gang war. And then basically you just wait and they'll start coming from all directions. So as you can see, we've got a few coming from over here. There's one down here. Well, you need to be fairly careful as well because these dudes have usually got quite good weapons, although not at the beginning, they've only got like uh, baseball bats and shit, <laughs> yeah, no chance, and I think it's always like a free waves that come at you, you need to defend yourself from, alright, where's the more, here we go, oh yeah, and during the, during the gang wars, um, you keep, you can see there's like a, Little health blips and um, armor blips spawning on the map randomly to help you out to survive a little bit longer because this can get quite difficult, especially when they start coming at you with like AKs and stuff. Alright, so I think that's it for the second wave. Just gotta wait for the third wave. They're all down there. Just line them up nicely and then just take them out one by one with the AK. God damn it, fool, why'd you have to run this thing anyway? Come on, get him. Alright, so I think that's it. Or oh, is there going to be another wave? No, that's it, man, we've done it. This is now our territory. Blah, blah, blah. Explaining what I already know. Oh yeah, and these gang territories are also going to be attacked now on a regular basis, so sometimes when I'm just driving around I'll just have to quickly run somewhere and defend the territory, stop it from getting taken over by the enemy crew. If I'll just leave it, I'll lose influence in that territory and then it will slowly be taken over by the enemies basically. And of course we don't want that because we want to expand the territory as far as possible. Um, with all this territory stuff I'm probably going to do it so... 
a few missions, um, well, a few episodes I'm just gonna, I don't know, I'll probably record maybe one or two or so. Ah, okay. Not finished yet, not finished yet, I've got to take this dude out. I'll get back to what I was going to say in just a sec. There we go, mission passed. You guys want something as well? Take you out. You're messing with the wrong crew, man. Alright, anyway, uh, yeah, I'll probably go around taking over a few territories on my own. Um, if you guys want me to, I can show you the takeovers of the territory, but I think it'll probably become a little bit repetitive and boring after a while, so I might just do like one or two or so, but yeah, leave in the comments below what you think about that, and um, yeah, just, that's basically it. Um, I think I'm going to finish this episode right here. Well, not quite yet. Just quickly going to drive back home, save it, and then uh, call it an episode. So, let's see, let's see, let's see. Straight through here. The hookers are not getting out of the way. <laughs> I got a staff running her over and then got it cleared straight away. That's pretty funny. And you can see now we're in like purple territory, so this is Bala's neighborhood. God, there's a lot of these guys everywhere. <laughs> It's like driving through a war zone. And yeah, just to have a quick look at uh, what the map looks like now. You can see Grove Street family is pretty small. We've got this small territory up here. We've got this beach. This belongs to the ballers. And then mainly all of this belongs to the ballers as well. This is our Grove Street territory. A little bit up here, Glen Park, what we just took over. And then along the outskirts is all of the essays the Mexican gangs basically, Spanish-Mexican, and uh, yeah, so let's get back home, save this game and then we can do some gang territory takeovers in the next few missions, what do you mean slow down, I'm not going fast enough yet, almost perfect parking, oh yeah, and I get money as well now from taking over territories, which I can then just collect outside my, uh, my house, which is nice because I'll be controlling all of the cash flow that will be going through those territories. Okay, saved up, and that's it. I'll see you next time.